53 miles now. Well, these appear to be heading uh, directly at us. I'm coming toward steady up. Uh, Hello, welcome back. This is your air-to-air -air refueling tutorial. Mid-air refueling is one of the most challenging tasks facing a new fighter pilot. It's not an easy task, but it can be done. Most of the missions are usually within the F-16 range, so therefore air refueling is normally not required for most missions. However, refueling will allow you to stay in the air longer and it's kind of fun for me anyways the first step in air refueling is to find a tanker the easiest way to do this is to contact AWOCS the airborne warning and control system this is an aircraft such as the E3 that control aerial battles and provide superior radar information AWOCS will tell you the position of the closest tanker AWOCS will give you a bearing and range to the tanker and they will also will give you an air-to-air -air taken channel for the tanker taken stands for tactical air navigation this system sends out radio beacons to assist you with navigation and is displayed on your DED now this bearing and range to the tanker will be displayed on your HSI. So simply enter this channel in the UFC up from controls. Just hit T ILS. But before we do that, let me uh, show you the uh, auxiliary communications panel on your left because you can use either that one or your up front controls. Now this is your auxiliary communications panel it's on the left and this panel models the CNI control switch CNI stands for communications navigation IFF and IFF stands for identification friend or foe this switch indicates where navigation data will be coming from. When set to the uh, UFC position, the system uses the ICP up front. When set to backup, data will come from the taken channel selector, which is this one right here with the three numbers. And you use those numbers with the left and right click on your mouse. And here next to the channel selector you can see this X or the Y. X is for ground and Y is for air to air or the tanker. And right next to it is the taken function knob. It has two options TR for transmit and receive. This one will determine if the signals are coming from an airbase and the AATR transmit and receive but this one will determine if the signals are coming from the air-to-air -air flights or the tanker okay that's that now we're gonna go up front and let me show you how your ICP will work with the um, DED Basically, this is just another way for you to enter the taken channel, the AWOX is going to give you. So you can hit the numbers and enter the frequency right here on the DED. So you can either use this one or use the backup on the left in the auxiliary communications panel. Okay, so here we are, you're flying along with your wingman right there and at any moment in your mission you can try to refuel your jet so let me show you how we're gonna do that I'm just gonna go to the 2D view and here you can see more or less where you are 
and every mission has a, a predetermined refill station so if you go down to your left knee and check your waypoints in your mission you can see where you can refuel in this case the refuel tanker is a steer point number nine so we're gonna go here and right there shift S like I showed you before to go back and now you are heading towards your refueling area if you he see here on the uh, HSI you see it's about 77 miles away 76 so now that you know where your refueling area is you need to uh, contact AWOCS and ask them where is the tanker so let me just get lined up with it and you're gonna hit Q twice and hit number four. Sentry one, Mako one one, request vector to tanker. Mako one, Sentry one, tanker wagon two, bearing two six five sixty miles, TACAN channel five one, Yankee. All right, so they'll give you your bearing and your taken channel. So, like I show you, you can either use this one with the TILS and input the channel on your scratch pad right here by going with the numbers and you will change your band by going into zero you see on the scratch pad and hitting enter uh, that changed to Y you can see that you're taken right now is set to TR or ground so you're gonna change that with the sequence button and now it's AATR you can see your ILS is off meaning that you're not gonna try to land anywhere you just wanna try to contact the tanker so you have all that done right there but now you need your taken channel so you're gonna with the arrow up you're gonna input your taken channel which is zero five one enter now you see the channel change to 51 now you can see here on your left MFD I don't think that's your tanker but it could be it's a good idea to lock on your tanker to get some more information see how far he is and see where more or less he's flying at now let's go let me show you here on the left side what happens when you sit back up back up let's go back up so I'm gonna show you so it's back up here meaning that now you're using your accelerated communications panel you will hit zero one two three four five and one I just right clicking to go back hit the Y it's already set to AATR and none of these switches are active so you basically just play with these three and when the time comes you will open your air refuel door which is right here let's go back up front okay now because I was talking to you I forgot what I was doing so I'm gonna go back up front up front controls this really doesn't matter anymore it's not active because it's not in backup and you see the screen went back the way it was so let's say you forgot what they told you so you're just gonna do it again Q Q number four Sentry 1 Mako 1 1 request vector to tanker Mako 1 Sentry 1 tanker wagon 2 bearing 270 40 miles TACAN channel 5 1 Yankee alright around 40 miles and it's saying about 50 to steer point number 9 you can tell because it's flashing so now that you did that and you know where the tanker is I will say about 30 miles just contact the tanker see if you can get any uh, 
radar information.